social media, but I'm coming to you as a woman right now. When it comes to furnishings and household items, what maybe are some of the months that people should be taking advantage of when they're going to buy those things? Um, so for furnishing and households, I believe as you've mentioned, Black Friday is mm -hmm. a good month. Mm -hmm. However, for me personally, what I do is, if for example, I've, I've identified a piece of furniture in a certain shop. Right. I always go back to their online um, and check which months do they offer these sales because it's always 30% off, 20% off. Mm -hmm. And then I start planning towards that mm -hmm. instead of buying now under pressure. Mm -hmm. And then also in terms of furnishing and household items, mm -hmm. What are we doing with the old items mm -hmm. that we need to keep replacing them so often? Right. Yeah. So because a, a dedicated almost 4%. Yeah, because you can't be changing paintings every other day. Right. Unless <laughs> there's a problem. Right. You can't be changing your table every other, every six months. Mm -hmm. So it's also maybe some time to just sit and reflect and think about maybe hiring professionals mm -hmm. to help you with your interior decor to save you on the money that you'll spend. Right. Keep redoing things over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, so, and now that you've mentioned having in, an interior decorator, a lot of Kenyans don't take advantage of professionals in different fields because they say, ah, that's an added cost, I'll go and buy it myself. And then you find that you don't know where the discounts are. You don't know where to get dupes yeah. of whatever you need to be getting. Maybe if you could give advice to Kenyans, what are some of the things or what are some of the steps they should take before they do a purchase or they make a purchase? Due diligence, mm -hmm. number one. You need to understand where your product is coming from. Mm -hmm. um, for example, in my industry, if it's solar, you need to understand what kind of warranty does this product come with, how many years, and what exactly does that warranty mean? Because warranty could mean a lot of things to different companies. Mm -hmm. Number two, you also need to see practically where these examples of these products are working. Because sometimes if you go, like if you walk to River Road right now, right. you'll buy a version of the same thing in five different versions, mm -hmm. which ideally they should work, but the, the difference in, the, in how they've been constructed is what uh, differentiates them. So one product is 5,000 bob cheaper, and right. you go for it, mm -hmm. but you replace it after six months. Mm -hmm. So you bought it at 5,000 bob cheaper, but in a period of one and a half years, mm -hmm. you've already bought it five times. Mm -hmm. So did you really save on costs? Mm -hmm. So due diligence is very key. Next, ask the experts. Mm -hmm. If you're not a carpenter, you're not a carpenter. So, Period. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you're not a, a solar expert, you're not. Mm -hmm. If you're not a financial expert, you're not. Mm -hmm. Um, there, 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 there's a lot of information even online if you cannot afford it. So we are talking about cutting costs. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information that I'm sure even Alfred here has put out. Right. Just to educate people on how to be diligent with your money. Mm -hmm. So why aren't we using these resources that are already there that are free? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make day. any sense. Yes. You could just go on the internet. Google nowadays is close to free because there's a lot of Wi-Fi. And when we come back, we tell you of the budgeting process.